Okay, so we're in the potting shed and we're going to be planting some tomato seeds. Like I said, they're the only ones I need to do this week. They've got that long growing season and you want to get ahead of the game with tomatoes, especially in sort of temperate climates, zone six, like I live here. Um, I want to give them every chance they can. You don't want to be getting to um, sort of like the end of September and sometimes we could get a frost here and it, and it, and it, and you tomatoes aren't even fully ripened yet so you want to give them every chance you can so I'm starting these are the only ones and peppers that I really start um, early early so what do we need we need obviously our, our seed tray um, any decent potting compost will do um, what else do we need we need seeds obviously we need our tomato seeds and I've got um, got some new ones I'm trying this year of, and from a new a new company as well a local nursery which is good always like to sort of support your local nurseries this one's yonder hill farm um, and I like them already because I like the packets so I've got peace fine which is a tall red cherry tomato so that'll be growing tall so I'll need some sort of trellis type or support for that to scramble up they're nice like, like cherry tomatoes and San Marzano paste tomato so that would be good for making classic Italian variety apparently that would be good for making sauces do love a tomato sauce Tiny Tim not tried these before another cherry tomato but they're supposed to be good lots of good producers Rio Grande these were good last year I grew these lots of uh, good ones of these and these cherry mix F1 that I got um, who are these by Mackenzie um, they were excellent, they were producing loads and loads of yellow and, and red cherry tomatoes, beautiful they were. I've got some more that I'll be uh, sowing, but not today. And remember, for this you know, purpose, you're a beginner, maybe, maybe you are a beginner. You've only got one bed, 4x6, four 4x8, four something like that. Um, we don't want to overdo how many tomatoes we we're growing. I'm, and I'm putting all those in because I've got a big area and I'll be knocking them back everywhere. But yourself, maybe just a couple or three rows when you're sowing them now. Um, and we're only going to have a couple of rows of tomatoes in the bed that we're using um, for the purpose of this beginner series. I'll tell you what we can do though. If we've got some extra tomatoes, we can bung them in a couple of pots. So get yourself some pots handy, nice decent sized pot, uh, we'll come to that later, plenty of time, but a good sized pot and we can we can uh, put some tomatoes and see how they come out in there as well. But first to the sowing, what else do we need? Ah, so we need some markers, don't forget your markers because no matter how much you think you've got a good memory, they'll start growing and you'll forget what it is. So some markers, I've got these lolly sticks because obviously I'm trying to cut down on plastic. Permanent marker pen or pencil. Got the compost, got that. I'm going to put a lid on mine later on, which I'll show you. First thing you want to do, fill it up with, um, with the, uh, the compost then give it a shake, give it a bit of a knock around, make sure it's nice and flat. And what I try to do, I like to get a nice flat instrument and not too firm, but just firm it down a bit. Because what will happen is this compost will actually settle down a bit more. Um, so I want to make sure we've got enough in there. So if it, you know, if when you push it down a bit, it's gone down, just put some more in and do the same process. And then what we're going to do is just create some shallow drills. Your tomato seeds are only going in about six millimeters, which I can't remember what it is in old money. Let's have a look. Six mil, six mil, a quarter of an inch. There you go. And just give a couple of centimeters between each line. And the only reason I'm really putting these lines in, just so it's easier for me to sow the seeds as I go along. Some nice lines all the way along, nothing too deep, because we're actually going to put some compost on top of this. We're going to put a bit of compost on top. 
And there we go. Let's get sowing some seeds. So we're going to go for the San Marzano paste tomato first. If you can see, they are particularly small. So all we're going to do is just follow the drill all the way along. We're going to be sieving some um, compost over the top. So that's where I'm going to use a bit more thinner compost across the top. There we go. I'm just going to do one line of them. I think that's quite enough. No, maybe two. Where's that gone? Aha! Might as well use them up, eh? You don't have, don't feel you have to use your tomato seeds up either. You know, other than parsnips, which for some strange reason give the ghost up after a year, your, your seeds can last a good five years in some circumstances, but at least um, two to three years you can you can use your seeds for. So just, it's worth taking your time over this because the less you have to um, disentangle roots, the better. Now these seeds are only going to be in here a little while, just while they come up, and then we'll be transferring them to um, bigger pots later on. Right, so that is the San Marzano, so I'll mark this up. What I'm going to do then is I am going to carry on down the line and then get back to you. Okay, so there we are, all finished. Tomatoes all in. As you can see with my sound problems, I've already watered them. Be nice and Nice and gentle with it. Don't put too much water on. Just give them a quick. And if you've got a thinner, a thin, a smaller rose than what I used, all the better. Marked them up. So we got the San Marzano, the Peace Vine. I'm looking forward to growing them. I haven't grown some big tall varieties. That always adds a nice bit of spectacle in the garden when you've got some tall varieties. As long as you can support them well, it gives you, you know, it's not all about the food. There's a bit of beauty and aesthetics in there as well. That's what I think, anyway. So uh, the Rio Grande, the Cherry F1 mix, and Tiny Tim. Um, so, there you go, all done. What else do I need? I'm putting a cover on these. And I'm going to put this in a nice warm place near a radiator, in an airing cupboard, doesn't have to be light at this stage, we just need warmth. Warmth is going to be the trigger for them to, um, to start um, germinating, and then we'll put them, um, I'll be putting them in front of my, my window for a few days, and then hopefully, these take a few weeks to germinate normally, so, you know, the temperatures, they do take their time here in Nova Scotia, where you are, anywhere in the northern hemisphere now, it's not too late to be growing tomatoes, um, but where you are, the frosts, you might not be getting as many frosts as we do, as late as we do. But So I have to be careful, um, but if you have a cold frame or you fancy knocking up a cold frame, there's the, um, the link up there, pretty cheap, out of pallets, or any sort of wood, you can use the same design. But anyway, before we get to that, let's get them germinated. Nice warm place couple of weeks and they'll start germinating. Okay so that's the tomato seed sown and that's us on the way to having some nice fat duty tomatoes later on in the summer when the sun's baking down and we're feeling um, that we need some nice beautiful refreshing salad. On the salad front here's a reason why you don't have to rush into sowing your seeds so quickly. If you can see here these are lettuce seeds that I sowed a week or so ago. Now I'm going to be sowing the, uh, planting a lot of these in my 
greenhouse raised bed in a, in a couple of weeks time obviously undercover and I've got some other undercover sort of options that I'll be using but you know they've grown up so quick germinated quickly if you if you have them and you haven't got anywhere to to plant them or um, you're thinking of planting them out early even you know even in the UK it's still cold at this time of year um, and they'll just be languishing in cold ground um, not really happy not performing so you can always just wait that little bit longer and that's what we're going to do with sowing the lettuce um, for you guys we're just going to wait a little bit longer um, and then we'll sow them hopefully at the right time so next week um, or in the next video I am going to um, be sowing some more um, seeds hopefully I'm going to I'm going to sow some um, onion seeds um, for uh, for spring onions or green onions or something else you call them in North America I can't remember but anyway your salad type onions um, we're going to be sowing onions in sets which are actually small onions themselves later on um, in the video series but I thought I'd sow up some some onion seeds um, in a multi sowing format which you'll understand next week uh, which I'm trialing out this year so we're going to trial that uh, and also next week I'm going to show you how to make a raised bed so I'll do it in a couple of different styles I'm going to do it normally with um, some normal wood etc and I'm going to do it with pallets so I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to make raised beds um, because if you're a beginner you might not have made your raised beds yet so no panic as I said we're still just sowing seeds um, so I'll show you how to make a raised bed and we'll talk about um, the materials and what you need um, so that's point two of our four steps what you need to get you going in your in your veg growing adventure so hope that was useful today please um, come back with lots of comments um, we can still uh, change up what we need to grow but yeah all the comments um, that you of information that you want in your veg growing journey would be most welcome and I'll, I'll try to answer back um, on the actual comments themselves and in the next video so definitely let's keep growing and uh, jobs are good